The Augusta Symphony is wrapping up their 2022-23 season, and boy, they have pulled a great lineup this year. To talk about their past concerts and the upcoming ones, we have music director of the Augusta Symphony, conductor Dirk Meyer. He's joining us again this morning. Good to see you, sir. Hi. Good Welcome morning. Back. Good to have you back. Uh, it's been a minute. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah. So tell us, we, we're wrapping things up. What can people expect for this we're, Thursday? We're, yeah, we're wrapping things up. You know, our season always runs from September to May uh, or late April, mm -hmm. like it is now. And so we are in the last, in the home stretch here. Two more concerts. We have one more Pops concert this Thursday, actually in two days. Uh, and then we have one more classical concert coming up the week after that, the Saturday after that. I think that's the 29th. Mm -hmm. And um, so they couldn't... They could not be more different, really. Uh, for the pop show, we have this group called the Texas Tenors. A lot of people know them. They were right. on um, uh, American, um, America's Got Talent, I believe, and um, really did very well on this show a few years ago. That's a picture here from mm. them visiting us uh, a few years ago, too, and um, people love it. They really love it. They're three tenors, as the name suggests. Um, really nice guys, great musicians, and um, you know, they, uh, they bring their show to us on Thursday. And then uh, we do something completely different the next week. Okay. Uh, we have our season finale in the classical concert, and that's uh, Rahmaninoff and Anton Bruckner. Uh, Rahmaninoff, a lot of people know, uh, very well loved, beautiful melodies, beautiful harmonies. He's, uh, he would have been 150 this year, so we played a few of his works this season. And here you see um, Alexander Crosantia. He is the pianist who will be joining us for the third piano concerto, often considered by a lot of pianists to be the most difficult piece ever written by anybody. Okay. So it is, uh, it's a challenge. And then in the second half, we close our season with a uh, wonderful symphony. It's called the Romantic Symphony, Symphony Number no. 4 by Anton Bruckner, uh, Austrian composer from uh, uh, the late Romantic era. Beautiful program. I'm very much looking forward to it. So a little bit of everything. Talk to us, yeah. what's the process like of selecting artists and the songs to perform? Yes, yeah, so um, for the classical, um, that's usually myself and a few folks from the symphony and we put our heads together and think, okay, what are the pieces that we think we should be doing? And then usually we go from there and match an artist to a concerto, but sometimes it goes the other way around. Like I knew that uh, Alexander Crescentia should come to Augusta at some point and this seemed like a great piece for him to play. He's a from uh, Georgia, as in the country of right. Georgia. Um, <laughs> not down the street. <laughs> yeah, not down the street. And um, an incredible pianist. He teaches at New England Conservatory in Boston uh, and very much looking forward to having him here. But um, then for the Pops, we usually have a whole group of people that consists of uh, you know, different folks from the board, the staff, myself, of course, and we discuss um, what we think would, you know, our audience would like to see. And then we, go, we take it from there. All right. And after these shows, again, you, you take a break while the season wraps up. So a yep. little time off, but already planning for the beginning of the next season. Can we get a little hint? Oh, yeah. I mean, next season is completely planned. And um, we, will, we, we just started um, selling, actually, subscriptions and so on for next season. And this one is going to be interesting. The focus on, of next season is America and American music. And... Maybe, um, well, you know that I'm originally from Germany, right. and I actually just became a dual citizen. I just became wow. an American citizen a few months ago, and that sort of inspired me to look at all these people who came to the United States and brought their music here and then became American citizens. So it features, next season features a lot of American music by either folks like Copeland who were born here, but also folks who came here and really influenced the American sound, like uh, a guy like Korngold. Any film music you hear, John Williams, that's where they got it from. Wow, Korngold. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so this is going to be a good one. Thank you for giving us a little sneak peek. But, of course, Absolutely. if you want the full experience, you're going to have to check it out yourself. So you have a show this week, next week, a break, but you will be back. That's good. In news. September, we're back. Okay, yes. sounds good. <laughs> Tie not required. <laughs> nope. It's not. No. <laughs> All good. All right. Thanks Thank so you much. so much. It's always so nice to have you, Dirk. And then we do have their information right there, AugustaSymphony.com. You can go there, get information, get your tickets, and learn more.